Um, it's July 29th, 2015. I had sex for the first time with zero pain and no crying. I'm 34. So I started my period when I was 12 years old and when I was about 13 my mom gave me a box of tampons and um, I just remember laying on the bathroom floor and thinking, what's wrong with me? It wouldn't go. It was like hitting a wall. I didn't have a way to talk to anyone about this and I didn't talk to anyone about it. It was just kind of like a secret, private, um, Pain. Vulvodynia is a medical condition that causes chronic pain in the area around the opening of the vagina, known as the vulva. The scale of pain varies depending on the woman. It can cause burning, throbbing, sharp knife-like pain, itching, and irritation. For many women, the pain is at the center of all their thoughts, making it seemingly impossible to live a normal life. Vulvodynia literally just means pain of the vulva. So anything going in or out was, instead of feeling like just a touch or even a pleasurable touch, it was excruciatingly painful. I, at the time, was told by um, one of my doctors that you're probably just gonna have to live with this for the rest of your life. And maybe you should just try to stop thinking about it so much. Only 40% of women suffering from vulvodynia are even properly diagnosed after seeing one or two doctors. 36% of women have to see three or more doctors for a diagnosis. And a quarter of women may never find their answer, even after they've seen four or more doctors. I saw a lot of my friends starting to get married and have kids right around the time that I was also ready to, and I was in a serious relationship that ultimately ended due to the fact that we weren't able to really um, be intimate together, which was not just devastating for me, it was also really devastating for my partner. I couldn't escape the pain, it was all the time, and it got worse actually as I got older, so it was becoming more and more and more something that was really affecting my daily life in, in a very negative way. The patient who is having pelvic pain or sexual pain often experiences guilt, inability to perform sexually, sadness, and hopelessness. Once a patient begins to feel all of those things emotionally, it can ignite the sympathetic nervous system, which can actually turn the intensity of pain up and worsen the patient's experience. It's a real thing. It's not something that is psychological. It's something that is, that is treatable. I think that if it's something that you're struggling with, that most of all you should find someone that you can talk to about it. Being able to open up the subject and talk about it and really like introducing the words vulvodynia and vestibulodynia into our culture I think is really important right now. It's not um, a rare condition. So many women are suffering. So many women are suffering silently. I think that's one of the most important things is just to know that it's okay to talk about it. In the words of Mr. Rogers, if it's mentionable, it's manageable. <laughs> and I really believe that. Once I was able to start talking about it, it just opened up the path to healing. And within a year of, of really just going kind of public with my problem, um, I had my solution.